Hello everyone, Dust Bunny Avenger here from Slackers to Cover, bringing you Nino Kuni 2, The Revenant Kingdom. Sorry, this time, this time it went in without any issues. All right, this may have been attempted at recording already. <laughs> Sorry about today's episode coming out. Uh, I'll probably about three or four ish in the afternoon instead of one o'clock, like I usually put put them out. Um, I thought I had one recorded already, and I didn't, because I completely forgot that yesterday's recording, uh, I was on Discord, and, uh, Charlie and Clunkin' were like, hey, we should play ESO. I'm like, okay, let's play ESO, because it's hard to get the crew together to do things. But I totally forgot they have spring break, so they're a little bit easier to get a hold of this week. But yeah. How y'all doing? I'm doing great. I mean, I set down to a good game. Oh, let me rephrase that. Set down to a good game so far. I mean, so far I've liked it. Uh, the dialogue's a little long-winded and stuff, and they stop voice acting in places that you're kind of like this. This is a really good spot for voice acting, and they're like, we don't care. We're gonna just be quiet. Because we want to. Dude, I have no idea what's with all all these gatherables. Let's go. Get into the king's cradles of pain, but luckily for you, I'm here to give you a lift. All set. Yes. Right away, let's go. Heaven, lad. Got a moment for old Batu. The guy who just tried to kill you, but now he's going to be your friend. I couldn't very well deny young Tanny back there in front of everyone. No, listen here. But there's not been a soul to the cradle that made it back unscathed. If she comes back with not uh, with so much as a scratch, I'll have your hide. Understand? Uh. Yes, Chief Batu will be very careful. Tanny will be safe as I promise. All right, I think we're ready. Okay. I've got my streaming, so I can actually do voices a little bit here and there. I was trying not to do that. Streaming, because that was going to just annoy people. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty. That's a, a, a little dark energy guy just shaking his butt over there. Oi! Cradle's up there! Wow. <clears throat> Shows a lot of stairs. All right. There we go. Urge to you, Slinky Rising. Inside Cradle of Light. Does it look like a cradle? Usually when they say a cradle of something is, you know, it's usually a valley. Not a mountain, but uh, whatever. Tomato, tomato. Sorry, I don't have a meat on my controller. Huh. <clears throat> I gotta do it with my mouse. So this is where we get our kingmaker, mm. huh? Yes. If we can prove ourselves worthy. Beep, 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 beep. Open up this. This is it. <clears throat> What's this? Wanderer, seekest thou to prove thyself a king? Talking statues? What's next? I do. My name is Evan Pettywhisk of the House of Tildrum. I've come to make a pact with one of the great guardians. <sighs> Very well. The trials of knowledge and courage await. Go forth. Leave thy companions behind thee and go forth. The time to prove thy worthy has come, even Evan Pettywhisker of the House of Tildrum. Blimey. <laughs> Blimey, uh, look at him. You'll be fine, you can do this. I'll be right behind you the whole world. Let's go. Evan alone. Ooh. Oh, that was a chest already. I was like, hey, a chest up here. Where am I? Oh. 
behold the trial of knowledge. The story, like any other, was possessed of a beginning, a middle, and an end. Trace the trail of this tale to pass the trial. I'll go back on thyself and fail. Could that be where the story begins? Approach beginnings and select to begin the trial to start. The aim is to follow the story in the correct order from the statue to statue until you reach the end. If you pass the statue checkpoint in the wrong order, you'll fail the trial and have to start again. At least the dragon's nice, let's just start over. Uh, you may also come to wheels. Wait. You may also come across wheels. Let's try the statue next to them through 90 degrees. Apparently this may also have an important bearing on how the checkpoints work. You think it went through the checkpoints in the right order, but still didn't pass the trial. Try direction try to change the direction the statues are facing. Also you notice that the tiles fall away as you walk over them, so you need to trace a single path without oh gosh. Yo goody. Things that I'm gonna Once upon a time the world was ruled over by an evil dragon possessed of a terrible power, a little boy from a little village. Determined to rid the world of the dragon's misery and bring happiness back to all, set out to defeat the beast. At his touch, the magic wand handed down by the people of his village stirred to life, and thus he was granted the power of sorcery. Drawn by the call of the wand, a fairy came to the boy and befriended him. The other two of them set out on a, a great journey to save the world. Uh, when the trial begins, you'll notice some orbs floating around certain squares. You don't have to collect these, but if you do, you can earn a bonus at the end. Hmm. Um, I feel like it would be, I mean, the, the boys over there, I feel like the boy would be the first one, so let's, let's go by dragon, what this power? These fall away. Oh, I, I, I can't jump. There goes my plan! A little boy from a little village determined to rid the world of the dragon's misery. I assume it's... I don't know what that, that yellow thing's supposed to be. But I feel like... It's it's just in simple order of of blue, yellow, red. You know, like getting harder and stuff. Be wrong on this, but in fact, um, oh god, I'm probably horribly wrong on this. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, restart because I'm dumb. Oh. I thought maybe <clears throat> look like that orb was. Like back one. Okay. This way. Good boy from Link Kingdom. I really hope you guys are gonna give me a way to get back. I have to pass through that. Oh, poop. It's touched the magic wand hand down. Oh, so that actually is the right way. Okie doke, okie doke. <clears throat> so if the beast to touch, the fairy boy came to befriend him. Down by the people of the uh, set out and arranged to save the world. But like the village needs to be away because you're set you're traveling away from the village, not to the village. That being said, there's actually no way of me to actually really access anything, so I done screwed the pooch again. <clears throat> I think this is the right way.
Maybe not. Yeah, because now I can... <clears throat> oh. Actually, no, I think the blue is still... F I think the boy is still first. Let me go out of order. Oh. <clears throat> okay. So blue is definitely first, and then the red one. I think I figured... Okay, I think I got this. I think I got this. I think... This, I gotta go... This way first. Then that way, this way, rotate it around, rotate it around. That's the f oh, that's a fairy. I take that back. Why would I rotate the fairy? Oh, drawn by the call of the wand. Okay, so it's gonna be looking at the wand. Now I get it. Okay. It's drawn by the call of the wand. So I can't get over there and touch that thing without. Oh, poo. A poo. Now I'm locked out over here. Okay. Oh. It's a little bit harder to try to get all those little things at the same time, so I need to make a path back. Chill, many crickets. Maybe, maybe my goal is not to grab one of those things at the first start. Um. get to the boy first. Oh. Otherwise, I'm just going to end up blocking myself in over here. Trying to rotate this thing around. Uh, what if I do... I go straight to the boy. Boy straight. Gotcha. That's not a bad idea. Rotate this thing around. Can't get that one from over there. Ugh. I don't know what kind of bonus it is at the end, but we're not going to end up getting it this time. Drawn by the call of the wind, a fairy came to befriend the boy. Reach the end of the chapter. Move on to the next. We gotta collect the. Yeah, free. No, no, no. I mean, if if they're if they're telling me it's this oh. big of a thing, then I need to figure out how to collect these damn orbs at the same time. How did I do just D to D to D? My brain is farting hard. This one. This way.
but I need that path to get back. Oh, gosh. Now, l let me see if this is truly the case, though. This whole rotating the thing. Also, I need that one away because... Oh. Okay. So, that's not a thing I can I can play with. I need that there. Need that there as well. Interesting. I feel like I'm missing something very simple here, but I don't know. Yeah. A single path across. I could go. I'm pretty certain that the upward path is the path I need to take to get over there. Actually, no, I, I think, I, I think, I think, I, I think, I think I sees it. I think I sees it. So. I think I, I, I derped, I derped this again. Son of a gun, I just looked at it. I just looked at it and it was poop in my head and then, and then I didn't do it. Wait, that doesn't work because it it, it cuts. <sighs> that doesn't work actually. Son of a gun! Why is this so hard to, to, to brainificate in my oh. head to get all the orbs? If I go that way. I mean, my brain is saying go like this. Aha! There you go. Drawn to the power of the thingamabobber. Don't screw this up, buddy. Noise. All orbs. We got it, son. Yes, with the orbs in, je in, in tow. Together, the two of them set off on a journey. You've chosen the right path and reached the end of the chapter. That's what I got for the bone. Oh. Eh, I'll take armor. Yes! The door, it's open! I'm not doomed to die here. Mm. Oh gosh, this is so much harder than I thought. Get a best friend the fair, the boy room on the land, and gathered. Together, a band of faithful companions. First, the kind hearted harpist, whose magical melody. Oh, sorry, skip coffee. Magical melodies could soothe even the fierce, fiercest soul, the fiery soul. Second was a brave pistolier, ever ready to help his friends through any hardship they might face in the quest. So, a red green. Third was a wizard who took the boy as his apprentice and taught him all he knew of the ways of magic. So, red, green, purple. 
His party of heroes does the symbol. The boy found the courage the last to face the monsters and travel the world. Let's not be dumb about this, shall we? And when I say let's not be dumb about this, I have my notepad right here I keep for for games, gaming purposes. Things. It was, uh, what was it? Orange poo. I forgot. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, but hey. Story. Excuse me. Okay. What? It's like my. Thank you. Okay. We got pink, and then we got green. We got purple, blue, and red. Purple, blue, and red. Let's go. First up on the list is pink. And my mouse, mouse, mouse thing. Thank you. Pink. Pink. Green's way over here. Green and purple, so that is the correct way to do set thing. Purple. Oh, that would help. Then it was blue and red. And I believe it was like face the monster, so. Okay, I didn't. Uh, maybe I just screwed this up. I don't know. We'll see. Face the monster, check. Um. Alright, let's. Do that. Okay, let's be over there. Boy found the courage to to la at last to face the monsters. There's no. Oh, that's that's the switchy thing for him right there. Okay. So those two are a single thing. I just need to get that over there. Alright, let's uh let's roll then. Switch it to the bye. Oh, this isn't a trick. The end, move to the next chapter? Yes. That was easy. So he and his companions set out to battle them. You went really fast on that, thank you. Six sensor. Uh, three leaf to sew away. Warlock's wand, it looks like a shotgun. Yes! Hey, the door's open. I'd assume there's three trials of knowledge. Hmm. Yeah, that's a dragon. The evil dragon who ruled over the world could not be defeated into the four towers and many of the evil aura that protected him had been destroyed. The first tower loomed in front of him. The wizard laid it low with a mighty spell. So. Purple. The second was close by the pistolier who carefully took aim and fell to with a single shot. 
green. The third was since hoppling when the harpist turned to a soldier and spurred on with her songs. So, pink, looking at red. The fourth tower, which stood in front of the ferry, was flattened when he ran it into head, uh, into it head first as fast as he could. Let's say orange facing tower, just in case. Um, the tower was gone, the dragon was vulnerable at last, and the final battle be began in earnest. As the fight between them raged, the boy spied his chance, and the dragon turned to face him and let loose the legendary spell Mornstar. So, boy, dragon possibility. It struck the dragon who fell down dead. Those of the world who was saved all lovely, lived happily ever after. Oh boy. The dragon actually get a. All the. All the okay. So purple is first. It's over here. I'm not sure what that rotates, but we'll see. Okay, so it does actually dictate like where th certain things are. Rotates the oh, rotates the dragon. It's gonna be a little bit trickier, ain't it? This isn't actually rotating anything for me whatsoever. I think getting to the dragon. That's actually what I need. I can shortcut over there. Is that what I really need to do? Yeah, probably. Alright, we'll do that then. It's Wizard's Chess, Harry! Dude, that guy's got like a space gun from freaking Fallout. Just a little blow it up with a single shot. So may have just doomed myself. Didn't do myself, we're good. Oh no, the floor's falling! At a moment. Okay. Ah, uh, excuse me. So, pink. I didn't remember a white one. Spurs on to the. She spurs on the soldier. need that as an exit. Definitely, I have no choice. Oh, shoot. How does one do this? Uh, poo on a stick, I say. I can't, can I? Because I would have to go... Yeah, I mean, I have to go down there and pull and, and just move it now, but then that would all fall down. 
So if I went that way... How do I do change top view? Okay. I can't, I can't move this. So, I'm not seeing a way to do this, because, uh... So I have to rotate her. I'm gonna go up and to the right and rotate her. The only way I have to go from there is all around, away around to the left, which would get her, yes, but then I'd be trapped. Um, if I went from the right, I'm somewhat confused about this. I mean, if I go from... See, that would still trap me there. By the way, I'd be trapped. Uh, well, shoot, let's give it a shot. You never know. If anything, I can confirm if to the soldier is the right thing. Set the harvest. Yep, can't get back that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Restart my progress. Oh. I pretty much have it figured out up to a point. There's no way to, like... You have to check that in a second. I went up and around the side area. That gets rid of one of my options. Oh gosh, that's that's rough, man. I think I think I understand this though. So <clears throat> let's not do any of this until I come back. What the hell about? How about that? So... Can I access it from there? Yeah, from here I can. Um... Come on, rotate around, little lady. Down here, get blasted. Skadoosh, you dead. This means I have all the way over here. Now I can access this one. Dragon is not quite facing that. But I need to use that to skip the dragon? Holy moly, yeah, I guess I do. So, skipping the dragon. And then it was, um, orange facing tower. Here's the question. Actually, no, I, I have the answer. I have the answer. I have the answer. Ish. No, no, no. A answer.
Yeah, no, no, no. Totally. Totally have the answer. Here's what we're doing. Here's what we're doing. Right, I need you to, uh, rotate, sir. Head on to the tower. Both tower down. The dragon to face me! Face me, dragon! Dragon about ho! On to the boy to the dragon! Face the dragon. This tower is gone, the dragon was vulnerable at last, and the final battle begins! You ever use the chapter? Move on to the next? Hell yes! The five between them raise the boy spite his chance. And he shot a slow moving beam. You like, run, dragon. No, dragon's dead. There's the right path and reach the end of the chapter. More healer roots. Sage of Secret, that sounds cool. Shamshir. Mm. Fine knowledge is proven. Oh. Is that how I'm supposed to leave? I wonder. No, you're supposed to just jump off the cliff here, Evan. You just did the trial of knowledge. Think, man. Think. Hmm? I'm pretty sure that entire story, too, was uh, the first Nino Kunai, wasn't it? Because that little fairy thing looked familiar. Where am I? I'm on a nose. A very long nose. It's awfully high up. The trial of courage awaits! Go forth. Draw thy sword, vanquish the foe before thee. It is oneself. Mm. We've got full Star Wars on this one. Oh, you give me a place to say? Oh, please not be a giant big old thing. Yes, yes, yeah, save the progress. I had to go back and get all those orbs, otherwise I know people would be like, "You fool!" Hmm. Looks like some sort of arena. Maybe the trial involves fighting. You're not the brightest kid, Devin. You don't pay attention. Oh, snap! Bug. Oh. Um, where? I need your help. Okay. Forgot a second. What my um. Ow. <laughs> it's gonna be that's gonna be painful. Oh boy. I'm counting on you. I do a lot of range attacks. Oh, you interrupted him. Nice! And a level up. And everyone just leveled up. Sweet. Boss's boots. Let's go. There's no bonus for this one, right? Just like, defeat him. You did it. Park champ. Heaven, Petty Whisker, Tildrum, thou hast proven thyself worthy. A kingmaker shall be thine. I expect something tiny and cute. 
because that's the way of this game. <sighs> He's a ball. I assume that. What's with the little guy? Is he a monster? Oh, that cheek! That's charming, that is. Monster indeed. I'm your flipping kingmaker, aren't I? Call your lot to. I <laughs> like he's kind of freaking. Call your lot down, half know how to hurt a bloke's feelings! Hello? So you're my kingmaker? That's right, man. That I am, sunshine. Name's Lofty. Lovely to meet you and all that. So I think of a Cockney accent, I think of like, you know, ha 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 ha. So Evan passed the trial with a flying colors, it looks like. Which means he can become a king again, right? You went wrong there. It does indeed. You have my full permission to rule over a realm of your very own. Um. Thank you. I'm sorry if I seem ungrateful, but it's just, I was expecting someone, uh, grander. Okay. Call stab me in the heart, why don't you? The nerve. I'll have you know, I can look very grand indeed when I have mine to, and not the moment. But uh, anyway, it's time to make our bond official. You got anything on you we can use to swear a pact over? It'll become a sacred treasure of your kingdom, so don't be giving me uh, weapons all kicked with monster blood or anything like that, you hear? Oh! Oh, of course, completely forgot. Sounds as if my sword and wand won't do, let me see. Come on, man, I've got all day. Oh. What about this stick? Tidy, right? Let's. Hang on, hang on. Really? A stick! You must make the sacred bond over a flippin' stick. You're one, you are. Well, it can't be helped, I suppose. Looks like a nice, sturdy one, at least. Hmm. Hold up the royal twig. It's beautiful! Right oh, my turn! Now pronounce this king and kingmaker. May the king... King's bond now binds us remains thick and lustrous till death do us part. Huh. King's bond, huh? Doesn't look very thick to me. Crikey! Well, I just made it, didn't I? Evan... When Evan buys your kingdom's get going, still soon fatten up. We better start building our kingdom right away. This is bad, man. Flip! Flip! I almost forgot! I got something else amazing to give you, ain't it? Something amazing? That's right, Mon, you get a lot of this little beauty. It's so small, you can't see it in my tiny, tiny hand. Tactic tweaker? Uh, stone tablet? No, Mon, not just some stone tablet. Stone tablet can need the almighty power of me, your kingmaker. As I call it, the tactic tweaker. So Lofty says the tweaker is a very special stone tablet that can give you all kinds of interesting effects on how did you do battle. Access from the main menu. If you get it, if you can get it set just right, every battle you'll come across will be a breeze, man. Just so you know, you have no idea what you're on about. <laughs> I wasn't Lofty, sorry. Uh, fine. Soon have a fiddle around with it. You'll soon figure out what's what. All right. What's what's what 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 push and push. All right. We've done what we came here to do. Let's get back to the Sky Pirates base.
They're gonna be like, where's your kingmaker? Here he is. <laughs> Talk about a refreshing breeze. There's Brayson. Alright, let's go. Let the boss know we're back. But he's been kidnapped by more pirates, and we have to rescue him. It's, I don't know, I'm just trying to guess where this game's going at this point. So, this little dude just follows me around. I can dig it. Uh, 12, 12, 9. Not bad. Tactic tweaker. It's covered in knobs, sliders, and switches that can be adjusted in order to tweak a whole host of parameters that govern how combat unfolds. These range from allowing you to inflict more damage on certain types of monsters to adjusting how sensitive your elemental damage and status effects. Unfortunately, won't be able to fiddle your heart's content right away. You'll need to earn battle points in order to unlock the adju and adjust each setting. Battle points are earned each time a party member levels up, so you'll need to throw yourself into fray into the fray if you want a full range of tactic tweaker options. I have 33 battle points, yo. So essentially, this is stats. Just to balance the benefits received from beating enemies. You haven't increased the level of this setting yet. So select. Press the level up button to get started. Uh, and it was an increase in the amount of money or experience earned from battle. That currently is not. Cash first kit. Uh, increase the amount of money or equipment earned from battle. Increase in battle or rare materials earned from battle. I feel like experience would be a good one to do first. Experience over gold. Yeah. I, I can't. I can't. Oh, do I have to go like spoils over rare materials? I want to gain all the experience, but we'll, we'll, let's let's not spin all the things here. Also, we're just settings that will improve the entire party's battle. Reduce the amount of time it takes from blocking. Settings are currently not active. Untouchability increase the length of time for which you're vulnerable for one evading. Decrease the amount of time it takes to escape from battle. Uh, increase the amount of MP restored by taking damage using items. Reduce the length of time it takes to charge up powerful range attacks. Uh, increase decreases the damage inflicted by. Uh, yes. You have enough to like level up everything once. Elements and elements. Certain attacks and abilities will have effects that align with a certain given element. For example, fireball spell is a class of fire attack. There are five elements in total, fire, water, air, light, dark, and each is strong against certain enemies and weak against others. If you unleash an elemental attack on an enemy that deals that deals almost no damage, that probably means the resistance to that element, but they may be weak to another. Evan and his friends have uh, also have elemental strengths and weaknesses, so finding equipment that adjusts these may be the key to surviving certain battles. You can also increase your resistance to attacks of certain elements by using the tactic tweaker, but this may require you to forego resistances and status elements to choose wisely. Yeah, I... Resistance to confusion... Or resistance to fire damage, I see. So it's gonna be... Okay, we'll, we'll hang on to that one. Come back to that. Increase the level. So, yeah, level it up, buddy. Okay, monster types. Monsters are divided into six broad categories. These are best explained by giving some representative examples and characteristics of each. Solid-bodied foes are creatures such as golems or combat droids whose bodies are made of sturdy substances like rock, brick, and metal, or earth. Slimy foes are those with gooey, gloopy bodies or body parts such as goose and skeletons. Natural foes are those who bring to mind the creatures of the woods and plains such as hedgehounds and zapwings. Reptilian foes are creatures with dragon-like features, wyverns and dragons. Uh, beautiful foes are the fairy and fey folk and other ethereal entities of the world. Brutal foes are generally humanoid in shape. But are characterized by for violence that knows no bounds. Certain weapons and items of equipment will enjoy special damage bonuses against specific monster types. It'll be well worth preparing appropriate kit for a given encounter. 
You can also increase the amount of given damage you deal to a given type of monster by investing battle points in the appropriate setting of the tactic group. So, yeah, when they say tweaker, they, they don't mind. They, they're not wrong. Um, level this one up again. Because this feels like the most general, non taking a bad status effect kind of one. And I just increase our brutal attacks. Um,. can't get back up to here. I, I'm going to have to just, you know, uh, I need more battle points. I may chunk that one up a second. I, think I, get, I don't think I can just level up another one against that. Oh, a new the green shirts of the money or experience earned from battle. Oh, I can switch between the two. Okay, all right, that's actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie cuz that gives me all sorts of abilities that I can do that I can just kind of tweak a little bit here and there as I go and that you can switch out between them means that um, Well shoot you can switch out between them. That's actually great So if I want to grow my characters fast, which is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start I'm gonna do get less rare materials and less money but I want to grow my character stronger and then we can I mean, there's going to be a level cap. We, we at least we can we we can tweak it as we go, kind of thing. But I'm always about getting your passive abilities higher. That way, you get more points. Especially since I said combat points are earned by leveling up your character as well. If it's going to let you increase how fast that goes, by all means, let's do it. But uh. Hey, that's going to wrap us up for this one. So thanks, everyone, for joining. Thanks for hanging out. For more news and information on what's going on, what may be, check out the description below. If you like what you saw and want to see more, like it, slap the like button, bash the subscribe button, and share the video. Expand the Slackers universe. But this is all for me for now. Until next time, folks. Take care. Dust Bunny out.